Reverend Painus, what are you up to now that your music career is over? Now I'm a minister. I teach uh, people a good book. I read from the good book, and I teach that you should spank your children, you should spank your wife, you should spank your animals, pets, if they do you wrong, if, uh, if a neighbor uh, does you wrong, why do you go over there and you give them a good, put them over their knee and give them a good uh, red behind in the name of the Lord. You know, because it's in the Bible that spanking is considered more than okay. In fact, Jesus knows that and he would have spanked every My God, if they hadn't nailed his hands to that cross, the spankings that he would have given to them Roman soldiers, he would have laid every one of them right over his knee, right up on that cross and made their cheeks nice and red. And I teach that, and it's in the Bible. You can read it. I've never read the Bible, but I have broken it down and studied it. Jesus was a short man, four foot two, and uh, he had a lisp and a uh, high-pitched voice. He used to giggle a lot all the time and play practical jokes, too. And he did spank the apostles. What do you think of your boys' songs? Yeah, I, I don't recognize it quite as much as my kind of music. I don't quite rightly know what kind of music you call it, but uh, they're continuing on a, a tradition of songs uh, that I started with uh, my own hit song, Country Spank, that I recorded uh, in the studios Next to Sun Studios, Elvis Presley was in the next room over. I was in the next studio next door, Nickel Studios. Mr. Nickel ran them, and uh, he only charged uh, a nickel. That was a bit of an irony uh, that no one ever realized at the time. It was only later upon retelling it that people thought, isn't that queer? And in my recent sermon, I talked about that. The Lord has put all kinds of queer, odd, you know, uh, things out in the world for you to notice and to think, think to yourself, now how did that happen? They're little practical jokes. And I believe Jesus Christ is the greatest practical joker of all time. And if you've ever seen one of those prop comics who puts a toilet seat around his neck and, you know, uh, and says, oh, I'm a peeping Tom. This is the best seat in the house. <laughs> that's Jesus. That's what he would do, and that's what he does with the world. He's always playing tricks. It's in the Bible somewhere. I don't read the Bible. I believe it's blasphemous to read the Bible. It's God's Word. It's his book for him, by him. It's none, none of my business. It's none of your business. You put it in that drawer, and you shut that drawer. You don't read it. 